logo design with Leonardo AI. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about our tutorial on logo design using Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI is a powerful tool that utilizes artificial intelligence to generate stunning and professional logos. So whether you're a designer, entrepreneur, or someone looking to create a unique brand identity, Leonardo AI can help you bring your logo ideas to life. So in this tutorial, we will walk you through the process of using Leonardo AI to design your logo. So let's get started. Now for today's video, I'm going to teach you different steps or different tips that you could use and apply to your different outputs to create or potentially create an amazing logo design. Now we're going to go to the image generation as you can see over here. Now I have three different prompts that you could use. These are basic prompts that could help you generate fairly good output of logos which are 3D sticker and isometric over here. As you can see, we're not using complicated prompts. We're not using super long prompts, but we're simply going to stick with the direct and very simple prompts over here. Now. There's also another key thing for generating amazing logo design, which is using models. Models are basically different collections of images that Leonardo AI will use as a reference. For example, you have your dog. You can take a picture of your dog, at least 8 to 15 pictures, and you create your own model. And when you ask Leonardo AI to generate you a photo of a dog, it will use your dog because you have that as a model. You have that as a reference for Leonardo to use. It will generate any type of photo of a dog with your dog in it. Your dog will be the main model for that specific type of output. And that's how you will be able to use or that's the concept behind the models over here. Now the original models between or behind Leonardo AI are Dream Shaper version 5, Leonardo Diffusion, Leonardo Creative, Leonardo Select, Leonardo Signature, Stable Diffusion 1.5, and 2.1. I have this additional models over here that I use because these provide some specifications on what we would like to have. So we could go to select custom model over here and you could explore the platform models. And as you can see here, there are a lot of options. For example, you have Battle Access over here. It has a lot of images of Battle Access to use as a reference. So for example, you would like your design to be a pixel art. You could use this as a pixel art to provide you or to generate you a logo that you would like to create. Those are samples of how you could use Leonardo to, or how you could use the model system to create you consistent or amazing designs. As you can see here, you could use Christmas stickers as well or shields or any of this option that you are seeing right now. There's also community models over here. Now. Choosing the correct platform models is very important when generating outputs in Leonardo. Now you could simply go straight up and simply type in whatever prompt that you want. For example, let's say 3D. 3D coffee mug floating. And click on generate. And it will provide us with a floating mug that could potentially, maybe, be a good idea for your logo design. Now. Trial and error is very key thing for any type of AI generation output or any AI generation photo platform out there because sometimes it will not work out. Sometimes the output would be funky and trial and error is very important. As you can see here, we have the very simple 3D uh, prompt over here which would provide you with maybe a very good logo over here that you could add some designs, you could add some outputs or you could customize and make it on your own make it more visually creative aside from this you could use this as a guide or like a baseline for how your logo would look like now the 3d effect is a very good uh prompt for using or for creating logos now usually logos are flat like a vector but no one said that you could or you couldn't use 3d designs for your logo so that's one we also have sticker output over here or like a sticker effect that you could use for your logo. So for example, we could have this. I'm going to simply type in sticker and then I'm going to use a model that I have created which is a sticker over here. Then click on generate and using the instant prompt sticker, we will be able to utilize the sticker 
references or the sticker models to generate our image that we are trying to create, which is a sticker copy mug, which is floating. And you don't need to indicate or say that you're trying to create a logo, like you don't need to type in logo in the prompt, but up to you. If you want to add that, you could add that, but you will still be able to produce amazing logo results without having to type in the logo prompt. And as you can see here, we have this another coffee output over here. Very good. You could generate more. Right now, I'm not generating lots because I have a few tokens left. So we're going to save that. And there's also isometric if you want to use that. So we could use isometric model over here. Then we could say isometric. Then coffee house. Just like that. You could stick on a topic, stick on the theme of your company. So you... For me, for example, I have a coffee company. That's why I'm sticking with the coffee theme right here, like the coffee house, the coffee mugs, all those, those stuff. It is completely up to you though on what type of uh, item or what type of product you're going to try and focus. But for us, we're going to stick with coffee theme. And let's see what this is output over here. We were able to produce a fairly good one, although it is not really a logo. But it's still a very good one, I think. So we could try this again. We're going to generate it once again. It's a trial and error for all types of output that we have. We also have a design server here that I have tried out earlier. But I don't think they were really good. So we're going to proceed with this one over here. And it's not going to produce us once again as you can see here. You could do trial and error. You could actually go to the dashboard over here like look through the community showcase look through the different outputs of the community and then you could copy their output for example this one over here we could copy their prompt in this section go back here paste it in this section and then we could change the information that say contains a coffee bean just like that and click on generate you could use your outputs or your community showcase over here as a basis or as a guide for your different outputs or different logos that you're trying to create and then you could use all of this stuff and as you can see here we will be able to generate this as well you could do it once again generate it once again you could look through the different outputs over here once again copy the prompt go back here and that's another one way to start generating amazing logo designs for you in Leonardo AI and for example let's try one more time let's go with this one you're not limited with the logo prompt like I said earlier you don't need to indicate that you're trying to recreate or you're trying to create a logo you're simply going to be direct with your prompt or you could also go here or you could also look for the proper model that you are trying to use and sometimes it will indicate it over here as you can see Leonardo da Vinci is being used in this section then you could change it over here plot design of coffee mug let's say that coffee mug and then let's remove the realistic car simple sunrise let's remove that as well just like this you could edit every single components that you have just like that and then simply generate the output that you are trying to create and we're going to give it some time as well and let's see if we will be able to create amazing artwork through this output over here as well then you could use an experiment with different outputs that you are seeing right here also uh, for example this one over here very good design very uh, artistic design over here so over here as you can see we have another design which is a coffee output over here and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching